Hi, my name is Dasha and in this video I'm going to tell you about my country, Belarus. Belarus is a country in Eastern Europe. It borders Russia, Latvia, Lithuania and Poland. We are located in the very heart of Europe. Over the years, different states and countries controlled our lands, but in 1990 we gained independence, and now we are a presidential republic with its own laws, currency, flags, etc. Most people think that Belarus is a part of Russia, but it's not right. Russia is believed to be our partner in some political ways and economical ways, but we are separate, we are different. Belarus consists of six regions. The capital of Belarus is Minsk and it's the biggest city in Belarus. Other five regions are Prest, Gomel, Grodno, Vitebsk and Mogilev. All cities are worth visiting and they are worth seeing its sites and learning some historical background because the history of Belarus is really fascinating. And also I should mention that Belarus is considered to be the cleanest country in Europe. Over 50% of the country is forested and the surface is relatively flat. Belarus is often called blue-eyed for large number of lakes and rivers that we have here. The northern region is called Belaruska Pazeria due to very picturesque and beautiful grassland lakes. Belarus is often called uh, the lungs of Europe because we have large number of natural reserves here. Also, you can enjoy all four seasons in one place blossoming trees and blooming flowers in spring, hot sunny days in summer, gold leaves and foggy mornings in autumn and of course frosty and snowy winters. In spite of the location in Europe, the cost of living and education here is relatively low. One dollar is equal to two rubles and you can have a nutritious dinner in a cafe or a restaurant and pay for it eight rubles. Also, if you have five dollars, you can go to a supermarket and buy some bread, some cheese, sweets, cola and milk and pay only five dollars. As for accommodation, you can rent a flat here for $100-$250 and if you prefer to live in a dormitory, you spend on it $30-$80 per month. The crime rate is incredibly low here. It's quite safe to stroll through the city in the evening and actually all people are tolerant and hospitable and they usually try to help foreigners. Right now we are going to ask some passers-by how do they feel about foreigners here. На мой взгляд, Беларусь очень красивая страна, и сюда нужно приезжать не только для учёбы, но и в туристических целях. Я вижу, что государство способствует туризму, и сейчас на территории Беларуси действует безвизовый режим в течение 30 дней. Надеюсь, это станет хорошим поводом для визита иностранных студентов к нам. Я отношусь к приезжающим в Беларусь иностранцам положительно. Мне нравится, что наша страна популярна, и я думаю, что так и должно быть. Большое количество иностранных студентов у нас в университетах только подчеркивает хорошее качество нашего образования. Я сам учился с иностранными студентами, очень позитивные и классные ребята. Мы дружили, общались, стараемся поддерживать общение сейчас. Очень интересно было узнавать о культуре другой страны и, конечно, делиться знаниями о нашей культуре. This was a short story about my country, Belarus. Let me know if you want to ask some more questions in the comments or you can write us in our community on Facebook or also you can type in our WhatsApp number which you can see right now. In the next video I'm going to talk about Vitebsk, its sites, its universities and I'll tell you some funny facts about this city. See you next time!